So Red Dot, this is where I got it from. When I was with the Raiders, Mike Waffle, he'd always have this pointer in the room and pointing that stuff. And he would use it like your, for your peripheral vision, like, you know, getting out the ball, eye progression is, is key for things we do up front. So as I started coaching, that always played in my head, you know what I'm saying? Eyes, eyes, eyes. And you'll hear coaches, you'll be like, bad eyes, bad eyes. So I was watching, I love military movies and, and sniper movies. And they take that laser, point it at your forehead. And your eyes have to be stellar, still. If they move here, here, and you move and you're my target, I'm gonna miss that target. But if I'm laser focused on my target and you move, pop, I'll pull the trigger, I won't miss. So I use it during practice to coach fast and teach fast. You know, there's a whole progression to the red dot with get off, feet, hands, hips, the whole nine. But during practice, I don't have time to Hey, come over here, and your hips are bad, this was bad. No, hey, red dot, and they, they focus in. And if they're red dotting, then the, the techniques will all come to play. And it, it is, I repeat it a lot because it's, it's not easy to do. Because you want to make a play so bad that you're getting down, you're looking everywhere, and then all of a sudden you look to see the running back has a ball Why this big 300 and something pound guy is mauling you, and you're looking at the ball carrier, and you're trying to make a play. You can't do that. But if you put hands on the guy in front of you, first and foremost, and red dot him, he'll take you to the ball 90% of the time. So that's where the red dot technique comes in, into play. And so when I started my company, it was just easy for it to be red dot productions. So I want to bring that to ASU, and it's going to work. It works. It works. What's your favorite sniper movie? So here's the thing is I'm bad with the names of the movies. Okay. So if you ask me that, but if, if I'm flicking through the channels and I see a military movie on, oh, there, there's two of them, and I, I just cannot remember the name of the movies, but one dude's like in Germany, and it's him and two snipers. They're like going back and forth of, you know, cat and mouse games, you know, and it's just like, I'm a baseball guy too, so just the chess match of different things in life, of how to win and what to do, and how, you know, so, that one is easy. you live or die, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, man, you, you got me on that one. Oh. Enemy at the Gates, is that one of them? It, I think it is Enemy oh. at the Gates. Yes, yeah. yes, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. I mean, when you watch that movie, they're going through so, they're going through hell to kill each other, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and then, uh, what's it, uh, I don't know if it's called Hurt Locker, or what's it, is it? Yes, yes. So those are good. I, I love those movies. They can start coming back to me. <laughs> Anthony Cooper, BJ Green both went into the portal, came back. How has it been developing a relationship uh, with them, and how important are guys like them to this defensive line this year? Yeah, very important. Never wanted to leave. You know what I'm saying? Never, you know, and I get it. You, got, you know, it's their life and what they want to do. And um, I'm just happy to have them back. And I'm ready to you know, keep building that relationship with them and that bond. And we're gonna, have, we're gonna be a special group. My motto as a D line is we're always gonna be the best group on the field, no matter what, it's mandatory. So that's what I'm gonna preach, that's what I'm gonna teach, and that's what we're gonna do.